Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. The Dow is off by 210 points, the S&P 32, NASDAQ 72, Russell's down 24, semis are off 77. Spot volatility still below its 50-day exponential moving average, but trading higher up by 28 pennies, trading at 2430. You've got gold up six bucks, silver's off four pennies, lights recruit up three dollars and thirty-four cents. She's trading at 122.73. Natural gas up 22 cents. Big move there. That's that's up uh, trading out at 951. 30 year treasury back about 23 ticks trading out at 13707. What does all that mean? Well, let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini. What do we know here? We know that prices trade in into resistance, resistance being those descending trend lines out there. Um, the spot volatility, if it uh, closes below 2388, it will negate a TD9 count bottom. And then that would suggest that uh, price would move the spot valtidix, that is, to about the 2214 and would then suggest that the ES mini should be able to bust through that descending trend line. In the case of the NASDAQ out here, the NASDAQ is uh, not doing a whole lot, but it's trading into a resistance zone. That is the bearish structure of its both daily and weekly profiles. And that's basically between about 12.563 all the way up to 12.973. U.S. dollar index finding resistance at the top of its daily profile, and that's at the 102.30 level. Gold not really doing a whole lot right now, nor is silver. Silver's got significant resistance on a closing basis at 2226. 2226 is the center of its weekly profile. In the case of lights we crude, first there's a new profile attempting to form bearish in structure. Will not know if it takes hold until this evening. It does not matter. At this stage of the game, price is trading above that level. That suggests that Lightsweet Crude is headed to the 126 area. If natural gas can close above 943 and it's trading above that right now, that will negate its TD9 count and say and suggest to you and I a strong momentum move to the upside. The 30-year Treasury is sitting at support. That support level being 138.01. That is the bottom of its weekly profile. So that's what the nine panel market update charts are telling us. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, we want you to have a wonderful one. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking to you again soon. Hopefully, it's just in a couple of minutes. We'll be right back.